Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Michael's Diamond World. And today, I am going to be working on building the furniture in the modern house. So last episode, I worked on building a little bit of the bedroom, and I also got all of the walls finished. So today, I'm going to be putting in a bunch of the interior stuff, adding a bunch of furniture. But before I do that, I need to go pick up a dog, and I also have to get some supplies over at the storage room so that I can make some of the furniture. So let's go to the dog house here and see which dog is going to come with me today. Alright, so here I am at the dog house. Let's go ahead and push the button. And today's dog is going to be... Doge! I took Doge last episode. Okay, let's pick it again. Uh, today's dog is going to be... Sparky Jr. Where's Sparky Jr. at? He's right over here in the corner. So I'm going to go ahead and take Sparky Jr. with me. I'll go ahead and put uh, both the bones back. But before I head over to the modern house, I need to go to the storage room real quick, pick up a few supplies, and then I will see you over at the modern house. Okay, so I've made it over here to the modern house. So the first place that I want to work is upstairs. So last episode, I worked on building this bedroom here. And I've got two beds set up. I've got this little room over here. Which at the moment, I don't really know what this is going to be. I was thinking about maybe putting like a chair or something. Maybe like a little seating area so you can kind of like look out. Out here. Oh, what are you doing up here? Apparently Sparky Jr. somehow made it on the roof. I don't know how that happened. Uh, but out here, I wanted to add some chairs in. I did collect up some more wood. So I've got plenty of wood to make some things. Uh, but I do want to head up here. Because I got some redstone over at the storage room. So I can finally activate these lights with redstone. So I'm going to go ahead and put this down all the way along here. Hopefully I have enough. Oh, I don't think that's going to be enough. I think I'm one short. Which if I get rid of this piece and put it here. That should be enough to activate it. If I can grab a lever from like down there. If I bring that up. I should be able to turn on all the lights with one lever. Alright, so I've got my uh, one lever here. So let's go and head back up here. And let's see if this works. Uh, it doesn't because this piece of redstone got broken. So I'll go ahead and put that down. And now all of the lights are working. So let's head inside and look at uh, all the lights. They should all be on from in here. Oh, great. I don't want to hit Sparky Jr. That would be really bad. Uh, but let's see all the different lights. Yep, they're all working. Perfect. I'll have to test this out at nighttime to see how dark it gets in here. But I need to get a birch door for here so that I can uh, have like a door for the bathroom here. But this is going to be the bathroom setup. So the way I'm going to do this, I'm going to get my dispenser here. I didn't bring any buttons, so I think I'm just going to have to make a wooden one. But the way I'm going to do this, I'm going to have a shower, probably like right here. I'm trying to think of like the best block to put this. Because I could put it on the ceiling like that. And then put the water bucket in here. Because as soon as you activate it, the water should come down. And I want to put some slabs here. So let's go out to the chest out here. Grab some slabs. I do also have to make uh, some more oak wood here. I might as well make the upstairs... Uh, chairs right now so I'll go ahead and make a bunch of slabs and a bunch of stairs this should be enough to make the uh, little lounge chairs but apparently it's raining now so that's not really the best but I'm gonna put some chairs probably right here and this is gonna be a little like relaxing area I think I'm gonna do just one block I think looks good and I'm going to do a few of these. I'll put one... I guess I could do them like every two blocks like this. So I've got three chairs here. And then over on this side, I could put some more. Like right behind these. And do like three more chairs like that. Alright, so I decided to just get rid of the chairs. I don't think it's going to be helpful having two sets of chairs. 
it looks really odd. So I think I'm just going to have the one set of chairs, but I'm going to move them back a block so that they're next to the glowstone. I think that's going to make it look a little bit better. All right, so I've got the chairs all set up. I think it should look pretty good. And this is actually a good time to test out the lights. Uh, it seems to be pretty lit up in here. Upstairs seems pretty good as well. So let's head back. Oh, I need to go get the wood. Not the wood, the stone. I forgot. I need to get stone slabs from out here. Uh, so let's go and look in here. I don't have any stone left, do I? Because I need smooth stone. And all I have is cobblestone. Uh, so I'm going to make some smooth stone real quick. And then I should be able to make some slabs. But first... Let's go test out the beds, because I've got beds in here, and it is nighttime. So before I go to bed, I just want to make sure there's plenty of light. It looks like we're good on light. This room is pretty lit up. This right here is a little bit dark, but I think as soon as I put the door in, it should be fine. So let's go ahead and sleep in our brand new bed here. You can kind of look out at the ocean. I think it looks really cool. So that's what the house looks like at nighttime. I think it's pretty good. So let's go outside and get my smooth stone so that I can actually make these stairs. Alright, so I've just made some slabs. I just realized I had a bunch of smooth stone slabs on me already. So I didn't have to make any more. Uh, but at least I have some extra ones, which is nice. But this is going to be where the water comes out of here. I do need to put the button down. I don't actually don't know where I'm going to put the button because I can't put it there because if I put it here, I think it's just going to break. Oh, it actually works, but it floods the entire room, which is why I wanted to put the glass panes in. So here's the glass panes. I need to put these right above where uh, the slabs are at. So now my shower works. And the button actually doesn't break. I thought it was going to break when the water comes out, but apparently not. Now, the one thing with this is the slabs, uh, they don't really look the best because they don't connect to the glass. Oh, and I can't do that because now you can't walk in. So, you know what? I was going to put slabs, but it might be better if I just do glass all the way down because I think that should prevent it from coming out. Yeah. So, you can just walk in through the side here. And you get a nice shower. And that's pretty much it for the shower area. The next thing that I wanted to do was add a sink. This could be where my uh, slabs can come in handy. So if I do a block there, block here, I need cauldrons, which uh, I have iron, so I can make some cauldrons. I think I'm going to get uh, three. So we'll get three cauldrons here, uh, head back upstairs, and put these down. I don't have any water, so I can't really fill them up right now. But this is going to be like the sink area. I can put my little levers here. So we got a nice double sink. Uh, I don't know if I can put anything here. I could put like a composter as maybe like a, a trash can or something. I don't know if that would look good, but I've got sink here. I could put maybe like a lantern. Might look pretty good. Do I have any extra soul lanterns? I don't remember if I had an extra one. I don't think I do, but an extra soul lantern might look really good on the side, but I don't think I have any. I don't have any extra soul lanterns, but I did uh, make some more stone bricks. So I can finally fill in uh, this area over here. It's not enough to finish it, but I'm getting closer to fixing that. Eventually, I'll have enough stone to finish it. But the next thing I'm going to add in is a toilet. And I was thinking about putting it right here in this corner. Uh, do I have any trap doors? No, but I'm going to put a trap door on there. And then I could put maybe a lever here uh, to like flush it. I don't know where to put it. Because I could put it actually on the side of here. Wait, can I put it? No, I can't put it on the side. I thought I could put it on the side of there, but I don't think that's going to work. So I could put this here to uh, flush the toilet. 
I could do that. Uh, but I do need to get a uh, trap door for the top. So I'm going to go find one of those real quick. And I might as well make this door as well. I think I have some extra birch wood. Actually, I can just take this birch door. Because this isn't supposed to be there anyway. So I'm going to have birch door here. I need to get my extra spruce door for the front door. And then that should be it for all the doors. So I actually have some spruce wood. So I can make the brand new door if I can make it. There we go. So now I've got all the spruce wood. I can make the door. I can put that in right here. Uh, there we go. The front door is finally finished. So the front door is done. I now need to find a place to put the kitchen. I was thinking about maybe putting the kitchen like by this window. But I also wanted to have the window open possibly. Because I could put it over here. I don't know where I'm going to put it just yet. But let's go put down this trap door for the toilet. So I'm going to put it right there. So the lever doesn't actually activate the trap door. I was hoping it would. Because that would be pretty cool. But if I were to flush it, I guess we could leave it open and then flush it to close. So I guess that would work. So that's going to be how uh, the toilet works. I do need to get water for all of this. Uh, and right now I don't have an infinite water source. I do have another bucket. And I need to get uh, some water from the ocean. Or I might be able to take it from the pool. Alright, so I just grabbed some water out of the pool. I'm going to take this upstairs. I'm not going to fill up everything right now because it's going to take a while. But at least the toilet now has water in it. And I can actually dye it. Yeah, I don't have any dye on me. But you can actually dye the water different colors, which is pretty cool. Uh, the next thing I wanted to add is I want to put uh, my two extra pieces of spruce wood over here. It's kind of like the dresser. I could add maybe some trap doors on the side. That might make it look a little bit better. So that's what it would look like if I were to put like another one on the side. I don't know if I want the trap door there though. I think it looks better maybe without the trap door. But it's hard to tell if it's actually anything. So I think I'm going to put another trap door in. So I'm going to go ahead and make a second wooden trap door put that on there and now it looks a little bit better for like a dresser I don't know what I'm gonna do with this extra trap door but I do have those extra stairs uh, I can put those down right here for the seat so there is oh it kind of blocks the door though so you know what I'm gonna move these I wanted to put them by here but it blocks that door so I think a better spot to put this is, uh, it's not really any better spot. I could move them over a block and put them here. So that way you've got a little bench here that you can sit and look out at all of the stuff around here. We've got like the jungle over there, we've got the mountains way in the distance, we've got the savanna, ocean, there's a swamp way over there. So it's a, a bunch of cool stuff uh, to kind of look at. This is the bathroom, which I think is pretty much done. I do want to add some paintings in at some point. So eventually, I'm going to get some more paintings. But the shower works, which is good. Toilet works. Uh, sink doesn't have any water in it, but eventually, that'll get some water. The next thing that I wanted to start making was the kitchen. I think I'm going to work on doing that next episode. But I at least want to start building like an area for it. I do need to make an iron door. I think it's going to be the best for the fridge door. So I'm going to go ahead and make some iron doors here. And I can actually set up. Oh, I wanted to use droppers. So I could actually use dispensers. But I think droppers would work a little bit better. So for now... I can put a dispenser in for the fridge. Uh, the block for the bottom, I think it would be good to have a stone. But I don't know if I have any stone left because I just turned it all into stone bricks. 
Yeah, the rest of the stuff that I've got is all slabs. So I think next episode I'm going to have to get some more stuff for the kitchen. But I have uh, some cool ideas for what I want to do with that. But I'm going to put the fridge... I could either put it next to here or I could put it by the window. Uh, but the fridge would be like this. The bottom block wouldn't be a dispenser. I could put like wood because that's like the only block I have on me right now. So for right now, I'm just going to put a wood block on the bottom. And this will probably be a button. But for now, I've got a little lever. This would dispense out food. So if I put like potatoes in there. So this will shoot out a potato every time I hit it. As you can see, uh, eventually I'll have it on a button so you don't have to keep flipping the lever. Uh, but that'll be where the fridge goes. Uh, I'm probably going to have to leave a block because of this. I could move it up actually. So if I were to put this up on that block, I could continue putting the tabletop. Which I kind of want to get like... Maybe some of the granite for the tabletop might be pretty good. So I'll have to get some of that. Put that across here. And then over in this area, I could put maybe like a TV on this wall. I could have a TV there. Do I have any extra stairs? Oh, I always have extra stairs. Here we go. Let's go ahead and put down a little couch here. Oh, I might have to do a two-block couch. Because I don't want to put it next to the window. I kind of want to leave space. Or actually, I think it's fine next to the window. But I can put my uh, couch here. You can look outside at the pool and the waterfall. You can look over here. I'll have a TV on this wall. I could put maybe a table over here or something. I could put like a nice big table if I get a... Uh, more wood. Alright, so I've put down some slabs for temporary chairs. And looking at the table, I'm not sure if this is going to work. It's not really looking the best. But if I were to fill this in like that, this would be the table. Or I could get rid of these blocks here. Move this up a block to like right about here for the chair. And this would be the table that I've got. I do need to move some of these around. I think it'll look better having a six block table. So that way I can have chairs on both sides here. Two chairs on each side like that. And then still have a little bit of space to kind of walk around. Like this area over here, I don't know what I'm going to do with. There's really not a lot I could put over there. I was thinking about maybe putting like bookshelves or something so I think I, I might move the table around next episode but I want to put in a table somewhere around here uh but this is just kind of like a, a little setup of what I could put in here I might have to move some things around because down here is the stairs to the garage so I'll uh, mess around with that next episode see if I could try and fit in a table over there and then I'm also going to work on building the kitchen and then I think it might be done. The only other thing is I do need to add some stuff out here. So I might do that next episode as well. But I think this place is looking really good. We're getting really close to finishing it. I've got all the walls done. Uh, now all I have to do is finish putting in the furniture. And then we can get some villagers to hopefully live in here. So, I'm going to go and end the episode here, so make sure to leave a like and to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye, everybody!